What's up, everyone? I'm Kim Horcher, and in today's fix, Cyberpunk 2077's stability is satisfactory. Six months later, Tekken Lightning uppercuts its way into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we remember a very good gaming dog. This is your daily fix. <laughs> Six months and a few patches deep, Cyberpunk 2077 has a few things to celebrate. It's back on the PlayStation Store with the big warning, and CD Projekt CEO Adam Kaczynski has absolutely glowing things to say about it. If by that you mean that it's satisfactory. In my school, that meant any grade that wasn't a D or an F, so... Okay. Speaking at WSE Innovation Day via TVN24 and translated by IGN Poland, Kaczynski addressed Cyberpunk 2077's recent patches and assessed the development team's work. We have already reached a satisfactory level of stability. We have also worked on the overall performance and we are quite satisfied with that. Of course, we have also fixed bugs and glitches and we will continue to do so. Over time, we will be introducing fixes to the general systems that players have pointed out as needing improvement. Some outlets have translated satisfactory as quite satisfied, and both are totally normal ways to describe a massive AAA game. Cyberpunk 2077 notably launched in December 2020 in a very bad, I would personally describe as unplayable state for older consoles PS4 and Xbox One while performing better on PS5, Xbox Series X, and other next-gen machines. The CD Projekt CEO didn't describe which player requested fixes would be addressed, but I hope my car stops spawning in the air and exploding into flames when I summon it. Dream big. Welcome to the next generation of open world adventure. Immerse yourself in Cyberpunk 2077. <coughs> Biochip. Hold on to it. For me. Kazuya Mishima, Tekken's perpetually angry bad dad who sold his soul to the actual devil to exact deadly revenge on his own father, is coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate tomorrow! Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game director Masahiro Sakurai announced Kazuya will arrive June 29th in the Ultimate's Challenger Pack 10, which costs $5.99, and as part of the game's Fighter's Pass Volume 2, which costs $24.99. Also included in Tuesday's release will be Dante from Devil May Cry, The Elder Scrolls Dragonborn, Lloyd from Tales of Symphonia, and Shantae from the Shantae series, all as Mi Fighter costumes. Kazuya marks the 81st playable character, not counting Echo Fighters. He will be the penultimate fighter added, according to Sakurai, which leaves just one final character slot open to complete the game's second Fighters Pass DLC. And lastly, we bid farewell to a good, good girl, River, who was the real-life dog who inspired Fallout 4's dog meat. Fallout 4's senior designer Joel Burgess shared the news of her passing in a Twitter thread. It is a heartbreak to lose a beloved pet, but Burgess chose to remember the good times and positivity River brought that were actually worked into the dog meat companion character. He shared that the Fallout 4 team was initially looking at professional German Shepherds, ones with film training or were police dogs, and were initially inundated with pictures of snarling dogs in attack poses. Then, Gentle River came along and bonded with them, literally changing the game. River's image was used and she even voice acted as Dogmeat along with Pathing. When Dogmeat runs ahead of you as the player character and comes back to check on you, that came from River. Her demeanor as a protector who took joy in making people happy, not as an attack dog, directly translated, according to Burgess. He said River was more than a mascot or an inspiration, she was part of the team. Dogmeat is not only one of the first friendly faces Fallout 4's Soul Survivor meets in their strange new environment, they are the only companion who loves the player unconditionally. Rest in peace, girl. Did you bond with Dogmeat in Fallout 4? Are you satisfied with Cyberpunk? Let us know below. I'm Kim Horcher, and that was your Daily Fix. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices. Subscribe to the Daily Fix on Snapchat. And for all things, everything else, IGN.com.